Boohoo. It is the first time I've ever ordered from Boohoo. <laughs> no classy way of opening this bag, so I'm just gonna. So excited! It's like Christmas. Oh my gosh, look at those prints already. <laughs> I'm just like, oh gosh, why did I order that snake print dress? Oh wow. Okay, so. <sighs> I don't know what I ordered, what I saw it remember, but I don't remember. So this is going to be um, a very exciting haul. I trust myself because I feel when I ordered, I knew exactly what I was looking for. But now looking at the packages, I'm kind of confused on what I did order. So yeah, let's do this. Oh, okay, this is exciting. <sighs> The first piece. Now, when you open up a Boohoo package, there is no invoice. There's no list that tells you what it is. It's just the package of the clothing with a little detail. So <laughs> for this first one, shoulder pad, ribbed midi dress. I'm trying to picture what that looked like. So, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Um, it's not what I expected. So this is what it looks like. That is not, I don't know why. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is that? Okay, I don't remember ordering that because I feel that's just not a style that I would wear. This is actually hilarious. Um, so first up, I can already tell it's thin material, like really, really thin material. The show <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the shoulder pads. Oh my god. Just brace yourself, ladies. The shoulder pads. Oh my god. What is that? Like, that is pathetic. Like, I'm sorry, but that's really sad. That's just foam. That's like, I, I, I can't even. Look, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. We're going to try it on and hopefully it looks better on. But yeah, wow. I'm also, this is a size 12 as well. So this is on Boohoo, they have a sizing chart. So when you're looking at a garment, it actually has a question there and it will tell you what your size should be. So that will be really interesting. But I am shook, shook at this first piece. I'm so shook that I don't even want to open the rest. I actually really love the design and style of where this ruching is. I love that it draws attention over to my smallest part, which is my waist here, and it creates that beautiful hourglass silhouette. I love that. I think that is absolutely beautiful. It is very, very thin material, and I don't like that. I think that is not a look that you should be going for and I just can't can't get past the shoulder pads like I can't get past the cheapness of this foam it's almost like I, I I don't even know it's almost like they just didn't know how to make the dress so they just thought that that foamy part would be acceptable it's it's like it's from a box like I can't even bugger such a shame because I really do like the style of this dress but I think you know what you pay for what you get at the end of the day ladies and this is a perfect example it is a stunning idea I really do love the style but just the make and the cheapness of it it's just not worth it oh my goodness are we ready for the next piece the color so far looks lovely so this is actually called a high neck floral cut out detail midi dress. So, what just fell down here? The tie for the dress, just gonna sit that there. Okay, so so far the material's a lot nicer. It's definitely a lot thicker. It's a better material for sure. 
Um, I'm interested to see what it's like on. Yeah, this is this is actually not too bad at all. I'm not sure how I feel about the color in the print. It's something that I don't typically go for or have in my wardrobe, but it will be nice to have something different, I guess, in case I do have an event to go to. It will be quite interesting to try on. So yes, this is a size 12. Pros and cons. Pros, I love the material. It is actually quite beautiful, soft, thick material, not see-through, and it just hugs my body nicely. I love, I love this purple color, but I do not, do not like where the flower is positioned. What an odd, odd way to put a print. It's almost like I've got more boob hanging this side and then what's happening here, like the illusion of dressing, you look there rather than you look here and then here. It's like half boob and then flower print here. Like I just think that's bizarre, like uh, can you see that? Like if I were to stand here, hi nice to meet you. Do you not know this? It's such a shame because this could be a really nice dress to wear to a wedding or to a special event. I just think it's too much print. Too much print. And especially because it's got the keyhole cut, I just think the way that it's been designed is not flattering at all. The colour, the colour is amazing though, which I think I'm going to look at more. I'm going to look at more dresses that come in this colour because I think that's stunning. But oh my god, look at my booty! See how there's just like large print, 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 print. You know what I feel like? One of those twister boards. <laughs> so far, it's like a very uh, confused kind of haul. And the next piece, <laughs> the next piece, what is this? A daisy print frill hem mini dress. Oh, mini, why do I pick mini? Again, I went for floral. Um, I'm just going to open it with you. Holy moly macaroni guacamole. <laughs> Super stretchy. That was the first thing I noticed. Uh, the material, oh my gosh. It is thin material, which I think it's not going to last, but because it's black, I don't think it's going to be see-through, but we'll give it a go. And it is actually quite long, quite long for a mini, for a mini dress. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to give this a go because I do like how vibrant that is. Like that, that print is quite nice and it would look cool in photos. I'm not sure about the little ruffled ends and I'm super confused how this is a mini. So I'm excited to try that on, but yes, um, the material, it's very very thin and stretchy which i feel it's one of those materials that would just hook and pull and you're done for the day <laughs> very very flattering for my body type i love this beautiful neckline and how it just enhances my my ladies it just makes it look quite beautiful and then it nips around and then out it gives that beautiful mermaid style which is exactly what you sort of want if you do have an hourglass body or if you want to make an hourglass body you want to look for styles that give you that illusion. So it's actually a midi dress, not a mini dress. I thought it said mini, so I was a little bit shocked. But it's a stunning midi style, which is beautiful. I thought it was gonna be see-through with a very strong, stretchy fabric, but the reason why I can see now that it's stretchy is because it goes over your beautiful curves and it just fits nicely on. Oh, I am super, Super impressed with this dress. 
Oh, that rhymes. I'm super impressed with this dress. Boohoo actually sold me on one dress. I do like the style. I don't know why I went a little wild, but this is snake skin print and it's called snake print ruffle sleeve smock dress. Oh, actually that does ring a bell on why I got it. I do love a smock dress. I do love a smock dress. So let's just give this a go. See what this looks like. I'm going to say like the packaging actually smells. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta be really honest there. Um, okay, so again, the material is super, super light and thin, which could be pretty good, which could be good for summer. Um, it does stink, I'm not gonna lie, like, ugh. You know, I think I was sold on the photo of the model because she made it look absolutely stunning and I'm a little worried this might look frumpy with some weird snake skin pattern apart. I don't know, so let's give it a go. <laughs> I was trying to be a snake, but I think that's a camel or an emu. <laughs> yes, this is the snake print mock dress. Mm. I like the length. It's a good little number. I like that. Hmm. Just come up a little bit closer. I feel like snake print is more a trend rather than an essential piece because I feel like it's already starting to go out of season. That's why I got it. I was sold on the trend, but I like the beautiful butterfly style sleeves. I love that it's fitted and then it flows nicely here. There's something about it that I actually like. So I kind of want to keep it and style it and see what I can do to create a unique look. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this is just a style tip. This is snake print boots. These snake print boots are a warm tone. See how they've got a yellow base? Whereas this snake print is a cool tone. It's got a silver blue base. So when you're looking at colors and print, it's really important that you go off your skin tone and what suits you most. Cause that is probably why you'll try on something and it won't flatter you as much as it will flatter someone else. So the next time you're, you're shopping online, have a really good look at the color. And also it's good to compare it with the color that you already know that suits you. Yeah, so for example, is, is it more a yellow warm base or is it more a cool blue base? And then yeah, that's just a quick and easy way to establish which skin tone you are and which color would suit you best. Okay, this is the last piece. I'm super confused on what it is. But it says color block kimono sleeve mini midi dress midi dress size 12. all right let's see what this one's all about oh okay 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 <laughs> i don't know there's something about the style that i think would be really really classy Oh, the material is thick. It's probably the thickest out of all of them, but is it see-through? Actually, no, the white is not see-through. I'm excited. I feel like it might be a little bit big. So all the dresses recommended to be a size 12, but it's interesting because different styles and dresses are going to hug and fit your body differently. So this is going to be I'm very hopeful that this fits me because I do like it just by holding it up. So let's give it a go. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. It's sort of that, mm, I'm not quite sure how I feel. It is thick, very thick and hot fabric. Uh, would have been perfect for winter and a really nice going out dress. I do like that it is thick because you can't see your bra. 
Ah, ta ta, you can't see a bra. I do like how this scoop neck is a longer scoop neck. It's not too restricting here. That's very beautiful. I do like the sleeves, but let's talk about the skirt, the half part of the, the, the dress. So this is flattering. I love the design of it. I like that you can peep your knee just that little bit. The bottom part is very flattering. However, because it's thick and tight, you can see the shape of your body. Like you could really see the shape of your body. I feel it's just that little bit too snug and this color just highlights everything. So unless you really like your body and you like your bum, just brace yourself because it really shows that area off. So yeah, that's the one thing I don't really like is the back of it. I do like the front and I do like this, this. But you know, people are looking behind you so you also gotta look good and comfortable. Okay, for the honest ending review time, first up, I decided to do this haul because Everyone on Instagram asked me about Boohoo. I never shopped at Boohoo. This is the first time I was curious and interested to kind of experience it myself. So my first tip is experience it yourself. Give it a go. You never know what you personally will like. It's really important that you do that for you and don't just rely on other people's views and opinions online. However, if you're here for an honest review and opinion online, my honest opinion is I don't think that I'm going to shop at Boohoo again. I just feel that with all the pieces I tried on, only one of them I was satisfied with. And that isn't enough for me to be spending my good hard money on pieces that are going to be hit or miss. When it comes to shopping and personal style, it's really important that you are comfortable you are excited about your pieces and that it makes you confident. So they are the key values that you need to have when you are shopping. And I just don't think Boohoo was that for me. It was a lot of fun to sort of experiment and see the different styles and dresses, but I can't get over the shoulder pads. I can't get over that foamy shoulder pad. Um, but yeah, so there was more cons than pros and I'm gonna have to now return a couple of these dresses and get my money back, hopefully. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on Boohoo. Did you have a really good experience? If you did, please share. If you didn't, that's okay, share as well. I'm open to all opinions. As long as your opinions are kind, that's all I care about. Kindness is love, and that's what we should all be aiming for. Have a great day. Bye.